All right, I think we're really like getting to the end of this, guys. I think this is probably going to be the last episode, honestly. I mean, I guess we're going to find out, right? Cable's completely fried, blah, blah, blah. Where are we supposed to go, though? This is the part that I'm confused with. Because we're just supposed to find Ethan right now, right? Yep, I haven't been down here. He's waiting. Bro, I'm trying to keep... I'm trying to keep my curses away. Because we're at the very beginning of the episode. And I don't want YouTube to get mad at me. That seems very worth it in these type of predicaments, honestly. Because I'm not finding any, like, health or anything around here. Am I just missing something? Or... Also, I thought we had been down here already. So now I'm deeply terrified. Oh my god. Bro, was my aim bad? Come on, bro, I hear something still. Next one's just getting this dog, cause I'm cooked right now. Oh, thank God. Oh, it doesn't tell me on hers. I'm gonna start using this, honestly. I'm terrified. It, to be honest, it's been a little bit since I was able to play last. So, I haven't been scared in a little bit. Whoa. Did I get better aim on this? Why did that feel so much smoother? God, it is giving me everything. It's giving me way too much, honestly. Am I supposed to be going this way? I guess so. I'm terrified right now. See what the hell, man? How are you allowed to come back to life? 
Oh, shit. I hate this guy. One tubby. Come on. <sighs> Hate that guy. I should probably look around to see if. Sorry, my eyes were getting dry. That's why I did that. Um, I should probably look around and see. I guess I probably can't get anything new in these rooms if I've already been here, right? So, nah, I'll just keep moving. I got a lot of machine gun ammo, though. Which is kind of wild. Ooh! Damn, poor guy. It's giving us a lot of ammo, dude. I feel like there's gotta be a reason, right? This music is super ominous too, by the way. Really messing with me. Oh, nice. I'll take that. I mean, not my first choice, but like, I'm not gonna complain. I think I'm gonna use this one for now. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking of, um, we did play this sort of already because it was in that, like, dream. It, not the dream. It was, like, the VHS tape or whatever. Like, how they do. That's where we saw all of this before. I was like, man, I am living deja vu right now. Like, am I crazy? What? Ethan. 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 Oh shit. Hey, shh, shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. But what do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite. No my boy Lucas. Or even Zoe here. That girl Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? Now what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after. So she infects you, and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces her way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to... A different person after that, just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key. All right, you find her, and you stop her. Yeah, I got you, bro. Evelyn, get 
Oh, nice. I'm Ethan again. He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Why would she say that? Does she know whether or not Ethan loves her or not? I feel like he definitely does, or else he wouldn't have done all this shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Evelyn, fuck you. You're not my mom. Remember? Oh, am I supposed to get out of here? Yeah, I mean, you can see her turn in. Now go kill that little bitch. No. No. Mia! Yeah. No! Alright, let's fuck her up, dog. You heard it. Mia said... Crank dat soldier boy. What the fuck are you? I just realized I don't have anything. Like, are we really that close to the end? Oh, shit. It's all your fault. Thanks. Heard that my whole life. Bro. Out of the left corner of my eye, not on the game, but sitting on my desk, I just want you all to know, it's getting close to Halloween, so I got a bunch of Halloween candy right there. And that shit is talking to me like the fucking Green Goblin mask right now. And I'm trying to keep it together. Okay. So we're officially in the bayou. Bro, imagine you're that poor <clears throat> dad, though, that, like, found Evelyn to begin with, right? He literally was just, like, trying to help a little girl. That was like he thought was in danger. You know what I mean? Damn, all the fish are dead. Wait, let's make sure there's nothing that I can like grab that's like special here. I never even thought of looking around here. Which m makes me feel like there's something to look around at. No, I could be stupid though. It's also fair game. If anybody knows if there's anything there, let me know. Because now I'm curious. Where is this? Like, what is this tower? Where the fuck am I? Ooh. See? Ha 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 ha. I don't have any guns though, so I guess the uh, flame rounds aren't of great use necessarily. Yeah, where is this? Just a swamp is what it's called. I supposed to be able to hit that then Abercrombie salt mine south some enhanced ammo February 18th 1892 there was a collapse in the Patterson mine Tuan and Beckford are dead and Huxley will never walk on his own again old man Stan was right the ground there is too unstable February 19th so the next day 
1892. The company's not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. So that's like a hundred years plus before this. Are they watching us from that helicopter? Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. Who's the unknown third party? The mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to oh, kill. are they saying that it's Evelyn that Lucas was contacting? You've taken me as things. Beautiful. Okay. Let's equip ourselves back up. First off, let's see. Can we bag buy that Magnum, brother? Where are all my antique coins? Let's see what we can get here, huh? Oh. Am I really one short? Wow. Wow, dude. No way. Can I just give one of these away? Improve fighting instincts. Reload coin. I don't remember which ones I kept, though. Which one's my actual? I know I want that, I know I want that, I know I want that. Gunpowder attack, secrets of defense, herb, shotgun, knife, Albert, handgun, first aid. Oh shit, I got that machine gun, brother. Ooh, survival knife way better than my knife. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to move this. Mm. What else? I think I should do the remote bombs, honestly. I think that's a good one. Enhanced handgun ammo, because I just used that. Regular handgun ammo again. I think I'm good. I think I like that. I have a lot of ammo, a lot of things there. Am I missing anything? One last look, guys. Let's see. No, we're good. I can't believe I'm one antique coin off. There has to be a way for me to get one real quick, right? Or am I just screwed? Because I feel like we're right at the end. You know what? I'm going to pop these. I haven't taken them, any of these in a long time. Yep. And that's why you do that. Immediately glad I did that. Yep. Well, for one, you. For two, somehow out there. Which means, how do I get to it? And is there anything out here also? Okay, nothing out here. But how do I get to whatever that is then?
Very confusing. Can I not? Like, why is that there? It's messing with me. Oh, it's out around the way. That's why I'm stupid. Okay, so... One. Drop the machine gun ammo off because I'm not using it. Grab this so I can drop this off because I'm not using it. But man, do I have a lot of stuff now. literally can't do it because I have too much stuff. Okay, I need to maybe put one or two things down. Oh man, drugs wore off. Ooh. You guys hear that, right? It's not just me, right? Pretty happy with that, honestly. Okay, I feel like I got away with that a little. Cool, cool, cool. There's obviously still two guys, but much better odds. Shots to the face with my gun, bro, with the good one, too, and it didn't go down. Might be time. No, 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 I should save that for a boss. Yeah, I'm just going to use the shotgun on these guys. They're causing way too much regular pistol damage and, like, ammo. That's crazy, dude. Way too much ammo. I ain't trying to waste none of that on you. Dang, there's a lot of chem fluid. I haven't seen an herb in sight in forever, brother. Am I just blind? Like, is it in the grass with all this other shit? And I just can't see it? That'd be fucked up if that's how they were hiding it. Ooh. We'll take that. Oh shit, I literally don't have enough space. I still don't have enough space. Holy, dude. I literally have to go back just so that I can <laughs> drop off everything I have because I have so much stuff. This is how you know you've gotten to the end of the game and you've done really well for yourself in the sense of, like, 
making sure you keep your ammo stocked up, making sure you, you keep all these things, like... Oh, yeah, get rid of that. I don't need that. Perfect. I don't even have the grenade launcher on. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We got a lot of health. I'm very happy with this. Because I don't really remember... Because, again, I have played this before, but, like, I don't really remember what this last fight is. Like, or how it goes, honestly, that much. So we really might need all this. I don't need this. I'm literally going to do something sacrilegious. And just, I don't need that. Ah, going to do it again. Whoops. I just can't. Is there anything on here? Alright, just making sure, because there was a ton of stuff here. For like a small area. But I, I mean, they are really trying to like prep you up for whatever's coming, you know. This is that mine that I literally was just reading about, right? I'm assuming so, at least. They were just talking about how there was this mine. That was a waste. Because that guy is not good. Hey man, these shotgun shells are really popping on for me, honestly. I'm chilling with that. Like, I'm very happy. Oh shit. That was close. Am I supposed to be able to get in there? I'm assuming not. Okay. Let's keep pushing. I hate this, by the way. In case anyone cared. being in these tunnels. I don't know why. But I do. Don't need that anymore. I can't believe I was one antique coin off, bro. That's messed up. I can't believe they did me like that.
Okay. Um. I'm so glad that we have. Also, can we just talk about the fact that his hand is like stapled on? Ridiculous right now. Too nice to have the watch again because I honestly didn't know what my health was at. Hell is on. Okay, this is really good when it's up close, at least. So that's super helpful. Like, genuinely helpful. Not sarcasm. Just make sure there's nothing back here for sure. Get a checky wacky. Okay, that's a big clearing. I gotta see what's up here first, though. Just in case. Won't let me. Okay. <clears throat> Where the hell am I, dude? That is a bomb. Who is setting these? Is this Evelyn setting these? Like, who is just... Really hating me for just being a hater's sake? Like, is it Lucas? Because Lucas isn't dead. I think we do something with him in one of the DLCs, but I honestly don't remember. Like, oh, I, I don't know, honestly. I, Because I don't think it's ever resolved, like, in the normal story. I didn't know that the boxes could do that still. So, definitely Luke is being a fucking fuck. Piece of shit. Sent Friday, January 16th, 2015, 12.42 a.m. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Damn. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. November 4th. So this is... Wow, way later, like... Ten months later. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between. Evie, Evie, La La Land, and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia is her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia is her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. September 1st of the next year. So this is a lot later, so that means that Mia was doing this stuff for a long time. September 1st, almost a year later. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around. But it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. Oh, okay, never mind. I forgot. Mia, um, like, whatever happened to the ship is what happened and then she went with the bakers for a long time i guess and this is what evelyn was doing the rest of the time she was trying to make a family but mia wasn't there anymore by the way evie's looking sick or something her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs is that supposed to happen it's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden interesting Whatever could that mean? I 
This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E-series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-series weaponized assets, hereafter re referred to as mold. Big word here, because this is something that is all throughout the rest of the games that they've made so far. In like the, not reboot, but like, since Resident Evil really started being Resident Evil again with 7. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co-apt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. So that was initial infection. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become the in tune with those of the E-series asset. So I'm E-series, I'm assuming, is Evelyn. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredi incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Okay. I love that this is just down here, by the way. E necrotox necrotoxin E series dosage test. Five minutes after dose, vomiting. 10 minutes after dose, death. 12 minutes after dose, uh, after dose, cell calcification. Wow. Okay. Oh shit, what is this? Oh wait, is this, what I gotta put the serum thing in? Oh shit. All right, we got it. I'm sure she's going to be right next to us or something. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's Next Bass, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative, working with technological assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants in mass with minimal direct contact. Next Bass was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its abilities to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the costs of not only POW handling, but all com also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the blank and even blanks, blank organization chomping at the bit to get on board. So uh, probably a CIA, FBI. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in blank of blank. The remarkably progressed vicarian evolution fungus that we commonly term the mutamycete. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mut mutamycete genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform, perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. So they're literally trying to initially put the mold on a fetus basically as soon as it's able to develop the resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series a through d to the perfected e series a common appearance was selected for the bioweapons that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban slash refugee populations so A through E were all little girls. First E-series specimen named Evelyn has proven capable of secreting the mutamycete something from her tissue at will. 
It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamycete imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the, me the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the autoinducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in Pseudomonas bacteria. No one knows what that means. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection revealed that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect. By the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycete infection has progressed throughout the body's cells. So the body... Don't know. Man, I wish I had an antique coin. They do this at the end of the games, basically, now, where they really put a lot of lore in. I love it. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they're superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential, which is all of the things that we've been fighting. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded. None made of mold and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is there for disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming the compound we now call E-necrotoxin, which I think is what we just made, which blanks in even tiny amounts, I'm assuming, finishes it off, like gets rid of whatever it's doing. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, while a seminal, sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing, a parent's love. So we don't really know which, because she is like a little girl at the end of the day, right? She's not just a monster, I think. Oh boy. You got anything else for me here? Neuro rounds. You're giving me lots of that stuff, and I suspiciously don't have that. Because I feel like I'm, I'm being chilling, you know? Alright. Let's get this save on, and I think we are getting there, honestly. I think... I think we're close. I really don't remember when it ends or, like, what the, um, I don't know when the final boss starts or, like, what we have to do up until this point. I don't remember. I have a lot of enhanced handgun ammo. This is incredible. So what, I'm just supposed to go this way now? 
Ooh. Don't need that because, again, don't have this yet. Since I can't get one antique coin to save my life. Um, am I good? Do I need something here? How do I make... Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't think I can make shotgun ammo in this game. At least I'm pretty sure. Pretty good amount of bullets here and health, so I'm pretty happy with that. They're really trying to give me a lot of stuff. Specifically. No, fuck that, bro. I fucking hate this, dude. She stops fucking making noise. Oh no, I'm starting to hallucinate. Like what they said I would do. Is there anything to grab around here? Or am I literally just like running? I just want to make sure. Okay, I think it's one of those like types of missions where you're just really, like really running. Oh, maybe not. Am I good by the way? Yeah. All right, so I'm hallucinating, so I'm, I feel like I'm infected for sure then. <laughs> right? <laughs> what? Bro, I thought I shot his head off. Damn it. Damn, that wasn't even worth it. I should have just used this the whole time. Dumbass. Also, what is this? Those don't do anything, right? God. I'm looking like an idiot in these streets. Literally just to be able to dodge. That's hilarious. I think I might I might need to start using this shit. I'm getting real tired. Of all these motherfucking snakes on these motherfucking planes.
I'm worried that one of these is gonna blow up again, so I'm... Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'll waste the bullet. I'll waste the bullet before I take the damage. TBH. All right, let's switch this shit out. Let's do this, baby, come on. <laughs> Shut up. Just die, oh my god, like Oof. That was a uh bit of a predicament they put me in there, huh? Quite a lot of those fellers. Bro, I'd keep like pushing myself back <laughs> as I'm playing. Like I think as I'm getting more afraid of what's going on. Like this. Bro, I got they literally stun locked me in a fucking corner right away. Are you kidding me? Stupid. Fat molded. These things come charging at you. Aim for the lakes to trip it up. That's good to know. However, and now that I know they're right there, it's easy. I 
fucking ran out? Are you kidding? Oh my god. Please be dead. God, did I hate every minute of that, dude. That had me on the edge of my seat the entire fucking time. I am exhausted from that. Jesus, dude. <sighs> wow. That was intense. I guess, like, some machine gun ammo. I feel like that wasn't even that much, honestly. That is that it, or was there anything else around here? I feel like there should have been more stuff than that, right? God. That was a headache. Is this it? Mine map. Cool, thanks for the map now. How is this helpful now? Like... Thanks, bro. Totally helpful. for a coin. I don't have very much ammo left. What do I do here? Sure is it. Oh shit. Is there really no? They're really not going to, huh? Wow. E O O one. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I hate this. The fucking phone again. I 
I guess we've already... This again. Sorry, it's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Oh, this is showing me what she's you done before. Have done that. This is this is we're seeing it from it fucking hurt. Being able to actually you see me. See then he can die. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. Where should I go? Should I be going through here? <laughs> yeah, okay. There better be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Oh, I don't need your pity. <laughs> What the hell is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Ah. Scared the shit out of me. Oh shit, what did she just hit me with? Bro, what am I supposed to do there? Why can't I open this door, bro? Is that all I'm supposed to do? Oh, shit. Yo, oh, heal up my blood. Come on, dog.
No, let me look over. Holy shit. What am I supposed to do with that? Is this supposed to happen? I just murdered a family. I like couldn't heal right there. I was trying to. Come on. Okay. I mean, that's what I've been using, but you know, whatever. see that turn of dust. I wanted to make sure for sure. Jesus, bro. Can breathe again. Redfield. I'm glad we found you. The fuck took you guys so long? <laughs> I mean, that doesn't look like Chris and Eight for sure. Ethan? Mia. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. Are they, though? Wants to start over. Put all this behind yeah. us. Are they, though? Maybe this is where the next door opens. Because, I mean, this is now Umbrella that we're talking about, which... Wow. Could I prematurely do this? It's like a trailer type of thing for it. Incredible, honestly. Um, I mean, Capcom, 
revived Resident Evil with this game for a fucking reason. Completely revived the franchise. We got 8 because of this. We got incredible DLCs because of this. We got remakes because of this. And we're going to continue to get remakes. And we're going to continue to get good Resident Evil games in the future. And I believe that with every bit of my being. So we say goodbye to Resident Evil 7 for now. We might do a DLC or two. But ultimately, I'm excited to see Ethan's path in Resident Evil 8 and really diving deep into this. Yeah, I mean, Mia's story was great. Ethan's story was great. The Bakers just being pawns was great. Evelyn being the mastermind, being the old lady all along. It was terrifying. It was filled with deep lore. It was incredible gameplay. It kept me on my toes the entire time. And it is just a masterpiece. I appreciate you for watching this far. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for future videos and future series, go ahead and make sure to put that in the comments below. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure you hit that sub button. Because we are going to be jumping into Resident Evil 8, and I promise you, you're not going to want to miss out on it. Anyway, that's the end of Resident Evil 7 for us. See you guys next time.